You guys saw my TikTok post about asking questions, so I'm gonna start answering some of them. If you wanna get better at technique, you have to have discipline. You gotta be able to take things slow. You gotta just have a little bit more control over your body. You gotta know what you're doing. Great body awareness, great discipline is key. Sometimes you just move too fast and you just miss the timing. So if you want better technique, discipline and control and timing. Welcome to the humble abode. I haven't turned on the lights yet. I can't see anything in the back. Ah, 78 degrees. <clears throat> I got the stereo system working. Now we turn on the lights. Shaboom. Bam. Hips and knees. Hips and knees. Hips and knees. Hips and knees. If you wanna. So you wanna go from being a good wrestler to a. So you want to go from being a good wrestler to an elite wrestler. And the best thing I can give you, the best advice that I can give you, push yourself beyond what you think you can go. And to always, always, always be disciplined and constantly be competing against yourself. You are your best competition. So if you're not competing against yourself, if you're not challenging yourself, you're the person that you have to be. It's not somebody else. It's you. Being more explosive wrestler. Being a more explosive wrestler is actually pretty simple. Uh, it takes doing things like jumping. A lot of it has to do with our fast twist muscles and strength. Speed plus strength equals explosion. Speed plus strength equals explosion. So if you want to be a little bit more explosive, put speed and strength together, then you'll have it. Do you want to know if those rolls work? Yes, 100% they absolutely do. I'll show you here. Get out of my side, I can roll. The point of doing any kind of roll is, is that I want to clear my hips. Trying to get my opponent off of my hip. So whenever I do any kind of roll, I cross, and yeah, roll. I like thinking about making sure that I go on the upper part of my back in order to clear my hips. I'm trying to clear my hips, get my hips away. So you want to be a better hand fighter. We got to make sure that we're doing things that get our arm conditioning and strength right. I want to be thinking about getting my hand endurance, my arm and forearm strength, my shoulders. I want to get my shoulders strong. Any kind of exercise you do with your hands can help you to hand fight. Snapping. This helps us hand fight. Clearing ties. Helps us to clear ties helps us to move our hands. But most importantly, the best thing that you can do to hand fight is just a hand fight. And if you wanna get good at it is that you continue to do so, create and develop patterns that help you to know what to do when you get stuck. Bo, come say hi to the camera. Come say hi to the camera. Hi. <laughs> All right, you're, you're ready to bow. This is bow. Keep 